Hey guys, and welcome back to Alone in the Dark. When we last left off, I think we have all the pieces now for our laser majubra. So, the only thing left is to make the barrel, I believe. I think it's the barrel that, yeah, it was the barrel that we need to resmelt. Um, oh, for fuck's sake. My tablet is woken itself up so it's going to have about 678 million notifications okay, that's muted okay uh right now what did uh what do we have here so we got the steel ingot which nothing happens okay so i'm guessing first in that case, let's... We do have the mould, don't we? Yes. Combine the mould with that. Nothing happens. Uh. Strange machine. Yeah, you don't say. Right, we know we need to smelt this... ...thing. So we've got the energy, do we? No, we can't put that in there. Okay. Uh... I'm guessing we... I'm guessing that we don't use the mold. Right, com we can't combine the mold, the ingot with the mold, no. Can't split the mold. Oh. We split that, which was the tripod support, which gave us two metallic half rings. I'm guessing right. Okay, okay, okay. We're getting there, we're getting there. We, 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 I think. So. Right, combine, what can we, right, okay, 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 we are slowly building this weapon of unimaginable power, combine, nope, combine, nope, combine, no, okay, so we definitely need to smelt this, are we missing something, maybe we are, Ah, maybe no, because if we say no, she just keeps the item in her inventory. But why though? Uh, right, let's try. Nothing happens. Maybe we can't do this yet. You insert the two halves. Right, okay. I'm pretty sure we actually fucking tried that, but sure. You insert the two halves of the mold into the machine. Surely it... Okay. All right. Whatever, game. Whatever. Do you want to pull the lever? Yes. Okay. That was um, way more complicated than I think it should have been. Uh, is anything happening? Yeah, I guess so. So there is the new freshly pressed barrel for our accelerator MacGyver thing. You take the barrel of the weapon. Right. And it is a weapon then. It's not just like a drilling machine. But then we did read somewhere about this thing anyway, didn't we? Uh, combine that bad boy with... no. Nope. Combine that with that. Alright, alright. So, combine. Aha! Perforator with a, 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 can, a canis energy stone. Right. Okay, so we can't use it as a weapon. 
The perforator made from a photoelectric pulsar equipped with a tempered steel barrel and a tripod support. The energy source oh is missing. Oh there it is. There we go. Right, perforator, yes. Okay. Can it can it be used here? But she's juicy. She's ready to rock. Okay, cool. Alright. Now we have that key as well, don't we? Uh let's go upstairs. Do you want to climb the ladder? Aye, laddie. Yes, we bloody well do. Right. Now, we've got... Right, we can't throw any switches around here, can we? Because if we do, um, everything will just rattle. And... Yeah, nothing really happens. So, let's just climb up here. I like the way we've got a shotgun in one hand and a flashlight in the other. That doesn't seem the best way to climb. But hey, you know, what do I know? Okay. I don't have all the answers. Obviously, you know. She's obviously uh, a lot more skilled in the situation than I am. I am. Ladder. Which is fair, you know. Um, okay. This doesn't appear to... Yeah, right. Be an awful lot. Uh, use you. You take off the padlock securing the trap door. Excellent. I mean, it doesn't look like the padlock's gone, but we'll take your word for it, game. We'll take your word for it. Now we've got a load of switches to fondle and fiddle with. Do we have to throw them in order? There we go. Look at that. Smooth as butter, mate. Smooth as butter. Right. I guess we do have to do them all in order. Ah, oh, man. There we go. Oh, I love fast forwarding the emulator. Man, that's going to be quite a useful thing. Right. Control panel. Yes. Ooh. Oh, fuck me. Uh shit. Oh, hello. Um I mean he's jumping over the thing. I'm guessing. I'm right. It seems pretty obvious to me. We need to get him to jump into the lightning. I'm guessing. Is that... Oh, yes. Then do we shoot him? No, he... Okay, he just... Okay, he just gets back up again. So maybe we have to do that multiple times. Because we know our weapons don't... Re oh, God, you little... Shit stain. Oh no, 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 no. Come on. Oh. Getting the timing on this is going to be a pain in the pain in the ass. Pain in the tits. But that's okay. Come on, move. Going to be any minute. Um. Right, okay. Well, I mean, he can always just, you know, walk through the thing. That seems reasonable. Yes, two. More than two. Yeah, more than two. Uh, okay. That's a dick. Come on. Oh, nice. That's a third. Ah. Well, I mean... What happens when the timer runs up? Did we win? Right, when the timer runs out, that retracts. Uh, okay. So, I'm guessing... So, 
I have a reader in the notebook. Uh, I met her with more, yeah, yeah. Oh, God's sake. Right. Ah, uh, stone disc. Gave from the seal found. We're getting... To act like a good team. I mean, slow down, love. Right. Uh, see if we can get a good little... Screenshot of that. Right, okay, so he's dead. I mean, I... Ah... Uh, can we flip that again? We can. Do we have to flip that? And then go down into the basement? Uh... You only get one minute fifty seconds. Do all of that. Uh, can we go downstairs, please? All right. I mean, yeah. Well, the time is still going. So, eh? And we are getting stuck on little pebbles on the floor, which ain't great. To be honest. I think we went the long way around there. Oh. Oh, we got griblies. Okay, this is going to be a problem where we're getting literally stuck on all the pieces of the scenery. Uh, but we shall persevere. I don't know. I mean, we've already got a power source in this gun, so maybe we don't need to do this. I, I'm not sure. Right, let's go back anyway and use our photo sensitive doohickey thing. Right, yeah, this this <laughs> when you've got a timer ticking and you think you've got an actual time limit. Um This seems a lot further away Ah, oh, really? Of course. Of course. What did I expect? And this takes so long to climb over. Oh, they're over the other side as well. Get down, you stupid woman. Come on. Yeah, this is... Okay, we've definitely fluffed this. Can you not go down if there's monsters there? But you can't... You must be able to. Right, okay, you can. You just have to... Oh, that is... That's bullshit. Right, well, I'm hoping we don't need that lightning going. Oh, God. Uh, right, that's going to retract, but what does that actually do? Have we fluffed it? <sighs> I get the feeling we have. And also... It's a bit odd that this is a triple barreled shotgun, but it doesn't have a spread kind of attack. Uh, right, we're injured. Okay, that's fine. Let's eat you. Yeah, we're good. We're good. We're good. Right, how many shells do we have left? Oof. Not many, actually. Not many at all. So is that um, Morton fella dead? Yeah, because if we've got to get down here in two minutes, that's... Well, it's not even two minutes. It's um, one minute 50. That's pushing it, man. But we'll see. We'll see. Uh, right. Surely not, though. Okay. All right, it looks like a weapon, but it seems there's a piece missing. Yeah. Yeah. The, you know, weapon is missing. Uh, so we've got a lot of missiles. I still find that weird that we get, like, fuck all weapons. Right, let's put that there. Nothing is happening. What do you mean, nothing is happening? Uh, we do need the lightning, don't we? Um... 
equipped with a tempered steel barrel and tripod support. Yeah, we need to get the f bloody power, don't we? Shit. Uh, there was that box up here as well, but... Guessing. Chest held tight, shut by a chain. Yeah, okay. Right, okay, guys. Let's try that again, shall we? Ugh. Okay, we might be editing this. <laughs> uh, trying to think of the most efficient and best way. Because I think there's there's two ways we can go. I don't think going over the wall is going to be the best idea. Because, you know, it, it just doesn't work. So, mm. but do we have to go over the wall though? Is the wall technically faster even though it really... really uh, I guess we could use the flamethrower. Can't reload it. But well, I mean, I guess if we clear the enemies out of the way, then um, is it quicker to go? Ah, uh, is this takes us? Oh. Right, I don't get this flame for our thing, guys. It Yeah, I don't get that. It's yeah. I was quite excited, not going to lie. But uh mm. Oh, this is not the right way. No. I'm sure there is a way here. Wasn't there? There was a I want to say a shortcut, but that was a shortcut. Yeah, maybe, mm, maybe this is the way to go. Oh, fuck me. Alright, let's kill these bastards. So, the flamethrower doesn't, or the plasma thing, doesn't actually work unless they're literally touching the barrel, which is... Yeah... I don't know. Yeah, disappointed with that weapon, not gonna lie. Right, let's try that again. So we've got to go all the bloody way up there, flip the switch. Ah, without getting stuck on every bastard in bit of scenery. Ah, we've got more baddies up here, but that's fine. Might as well use this flamethrower up, it's pretty rubbish. I honestly thought this thing was going to be better, but, you know, hey, it is what it is, as the kids say. Do the kids say that? I mean, I say that. Oh, look at that. I mean, you're literally burning them, but it does nothing. Yeah, unless you're touching them with the thing. All right, yeah, not impressed with that at all. Okay, so is going this way round quicker? Yes, so we will go in that way. Now, hopefully, the enemies don't respawn. Maybe they do. I don't know. Has Matey Boy got back up again? Well, he's not here, so. Uh, not convinced that bodes well. Right, let's flick the shit switch. And. Should we give it a save? give it a save right I think maybe when it didn't work I actually went to no that could be a thing all right pull the lever and run wait wait it didn't work why didn't it work Okay, I don't know why it didn't work. Let's not worry too much about that. Okay. Okay. Right, Eileen. I hope you've got your running shoes on. 
Because we have quite the trek. Oh, I say quite the trek. Oh, for fuck's sake. Can't you just slide down the pole? <sighs> right, okay. You'd have thought she would do that, you know, because she's... Let's be fair, she's in a little bit of a hurry, like, you know. Okay. And stuck on everything. Because that's the... That's the way of things. We shall make sure that the player gets stuck on all of the scenery. Actually, I don't remember that ever being much of an issue in Resident Evil, but that could just be me talking out of my ass. I certainly do talk out of my ass uh, a good, uh, you know, a good amount. So, let's go. The amount of times I've given you guys terrible advice as well. Yeah, don't listen to me. At the best of times, I'm full of shit. I feel like we're doing better. We did lose like, you know, 80% of our time on that um, bloody... Oh, God. Right. Okay. Which one of these do we want to go through? It's not that, is it? No. We will go... Keep going around. And we want to go through this door. There we go. Keep going. To the zombie room. And we want to go through there. Right, this is feeling good. Feeling good. Yeah, going over that wall, you know. To a normal human, that would actually save time. But to an incompetent, you know, idiot. He doesn't know how to jump over walls. It's not. Right, if this doesn't work. Oh, it does. Okay, I was going to say, if this doesn't work, I don't know. We've missed the part. I want to step away from that. Oh, yeah, that's... That's quite the cable. Ooh. Damn, the shot has destroyed the... Oh. It looks like a weapon, but it seems there's a piece missing. Um, oh, shit. The f fuck nuggets is that? Ah. Uh. whip this bad boy out. It looks like a fucking scorpion or some shit. Oh. Okay. Not bad with a grenade launcher. Uh, right. So, let's go deep into the darkness. Actually, you know, going the... Oh. Ooh. Ooh. Photoelectric pulsar. Oh, what that? Ah, looks like another weapon that has a percentage. Quip. Can't reload it. An energy weapon made by Jeremy Morton. It works by a series of mirrors. It's apparently very powerful. Obviously, I need a specific device for a power supply. Uh, let's give this thing a little bit of a go. Let's give it a give it a uh, save, so we can have a little test. Ooh. Oh. Oh, right. Okay. So you need to charge it up. Alright. It doesn't look like it has a huge amount of energy. So we might want to save that. Right. Yes, we want to climb down the ladder. Ah. 
Okay. Okay. Oh! You know, we probably don't need to fight these things, but we're going into this Valley of the Damned. So we're going to take as many of these fucking dark mutants with us. Bastards. Eileen's not fucking around anymore. She's had enough, man. She's had enough of this fucking bullshit. Uh oh. That didn't sound good. I thought the bridge was going to collapse then. Oh, my dudes. Look at I never thought we'd get, like, fucking pulse lasers and grenade launchers and plasma burners in this game. I never thought we'd be getting serious weaponry like that. I mean, dudes. Slow the hell down. Is there really nothing... Here? I mean, I guess not. Alright. Yeah, never never in a million years thought we'd be getting, like, weaponry like this. That's freaking cool, man. And I like that, you know, it's weird not having to worry about your inventory space as well. Um, you know, I know Resident Evil's based around that thing. But Silent Hill never worried about inventory space. And did it ruin those games? No, I, you know, item management in RE has always pissed me off. Unless we're talking Resident Evil 4. And then it was just, mwah. Although what I would have liked in RE4 is somewhere to store uh, excess items. Because it was kind of shitty to throw stuff away. Ah, oh, look at this. Look at this. Mmm, this place is overflowing with evil energy. Oh. I'm locked off here. Alright. I guess. I guess not really. Mmm, you can taste the voodoo down here. God, the environments look so good. You know, there was an Alone in the Dark on the 360. Aline? Oh, hello. Yeah, I see we both reached the same point. We don't have much time. We've got to hurry. Or else our sacrifice will be useless. Now you're talking like a native. I feel <laughs> like I've been entrusted with a mission. Yeah, welcome to the club. There's a stella with some inscriptions over there. I'd like to know what it says. Follow me. Yeah, cool story. But I'm going to check up here. You got any goodies? Ah, uh, Carmby must have arrived from here. Yeah, and I'm actually really looking forward to playing Carmby's side of the story because obviously it's different. Apparently Carmby's side is easier. More shooty oh, can based. You transcribe it? Wait. Yeah, I think I can. The gate is now before thee. The gate that holds the darkness back in the folds of the earth thou who are about to open it thou must know that the night pushes the darkness back into these caves while the sun calls them out thus okay. if the gate is opened whilst the orb of day casts its first light the darkness will spill out across the world paving the way for its creatures who will then roam the surface of the earth feeding off the blood of all the children of light that doesn't sound good <laughs> not really you can say that again oof Okay, uh, so that's that's actually interesting. So if the gate opens when it's daytime, that's bad news. That's unusual. I think these must be the seven gods of light. Yeah, and that guy in the middle, that's got to be Hecaton Curis, the god of gods. Hey, do you believe in that legend? Hey, do you believe in this island? Come on, let's hurry up.
Okay. To be honest, right, I'm an atheist, right? I don't believe in any of this fucking Nancy shit. But if I was in this situation, and I, you know, I don't knock anybody who does believe in this sort of stuff, you know, each to their own. Uh, but if I was in this situation, yeah, I think I'd, I, I'd start believing, you know? I'm just saying, you know, if the evidence is here, <laughs> all around us, yes, I would, uh, I would be saying, yeah, this, this shit looks pretty real to me. Creatures of the night and all that. Oh, God, look at this. Mm, and we are really almost out of time. In fact, we are out of time. Uh, okay. Hmm. Right. That, I'm guessing? Well, I don't think that's the gate, because we need to do some kind of funky voodoo to go through the gate. But, we are going to leave it there, guys. When we come back, well, I'm guessing we're going to have a bit of an adventure to the dark side. But that's okay, because we have a three-barreled shotgun, which actually sounds a lot more impressive than it actually is. Hmm. Anyway, till next time, guys. Thanks for watching.